Every day, millions of people travel on the roads and highways of New Jersey by car, truck, bus, or motorcycle. With such a high volume and variety of roadway users, it is essential that our roads are safe, well-maintained, and ready for use. However, traffic loads and environmental conditions contribute to deterioration of roadways over time. The New Jersey Department of Transportation, or NJDOT, maintains about 2,300 of the state's 39,000 centerline miles of roads. This is commonly referred to as the state highway system. Most of the remaining mileage is under the jurisdiction of counties and municipalities. Although the state highway system accounts for less than 10% of the state's highway miles, it carries over 40% of all traffic, including a high percentage of heavy trucks. In fact, New Jersey's roadway system is the lifeblood of the state's economy. Therefore, preservation of the state's pavement is a high priority. Keeping the roadway infrastructure in a state of good repair is important to the state's economic health and quality of life. NJDOT uses a comprehensive pavement management system to evaluate pavement condition and to make good decisions about the most cost-effective use of available resources. Pavements are classified by their roughness, visible evidence of surface distress, and deterioration. They're given an overall grade of good, fair, or deficient. Pavement preservation is planned and performed to preserve the condition of a roadway while it is still in a good or fair state of repair. Looking at the success of a pavement preservation and preventive maintenance type of a projects uh, in the DOT, we are looking into uh, increasing our uh, budget line item for the pavement preservation program in outer years. Pavement preservation is a different way of doing business. It's taking care of your roads that are in good condition. Typically, our practice has been to allow our roads to fail and then go in and take care of them. And pavement preservation is a different program. It's keeping your good roads good. Since 2012, two federal transportation funding bills, MAP 21 and the FAST Act, have required states to maximize the performance and minimize the life cycle costs of maintaining their transportation facilities. In compliance with these two regulations, NJDOT has moved away from the worst first kind of approach. And NJDOT has moved towards a sort of a preventive is better than cure kind of approach. How does that help the NJDOT? The worst first approach, we were spending a significant amount of dollar for a major rehabilitation for those distress payment. However, with the payment preservation approach, we are spending less budget and preserving longer miles uh, of the payments. So in a way, it's really getting us a, a better return on our investment. Recently, the department has moved to a more proactive approach to managing its pavements through a pavement preservation program. And the focus of the pavement preservation program is to keep pavements in good or fair condition and not let them deteriorate to the point where they need extensive investment in repairs. It's not easy because we do have a large number of pavements that do require more extensive repairs. But the advantage of the preservation program is that with a minimal investment, we can keep a larger number of pavements in good condition. This approach has allowed NJDOT to prioritize maintenance needs, slow down the rate of pavement deterioration statewide, and provide smoother, longer-lasting pavements. Preventive maintenance treatments applied while roads are still in good to fair condition can be done at a fraction of the cost of conventional approaches. Why is this? Pavement experts have found that during the typical life of a road, pavement condition will drop by 40% in quality over the first 75% of the road's life. Then, in just the next 12% of the road's life, pavement quality will drop another 40%. Once roads reach this point of accelerated deterioration, costly rehab and reconstruction are the only options. Preventative treatment investments can add life to pavements inexpensively. Studies have found that every $2 spent on pavement preservation here, or four to eight dollars here can save from 12 to 18 dollars here in future rehabilitation or reconstruction costs. Despite the economic advantages of preventive maintenance, the majority of the spending on pavements nationwide continues to be for traditional milling and paving. 
Milling and paving removes a deteriorated surface layer of an asphalt roadway and replaces that layer with new asphalt. This approach carries both significant financial costs and adverse environmental impacts when compared to less invasive and less expensive pavement preservation treatments. Across the U.S., agencies are learning that the worst first approach to manage their roadways just doesn't work. This approach was simple and very logical. Fix roads when they're in bad condition, and if they're not broke, don't fix them. However, as the FHWA and individual agencies began to take a closer look at this strategy, they realized it had several shortcomings. It was expensive because the types of repairs needed on the worst roads have high costs. Because of the high costs, without an unlimited budget, there was a limited amount of work that could be accomplished. And overall, roadway conditions declined as the backlog of roads needing work grew. What this meant for the public is that they were riding on roads in increasingly worse condition. This creates costs for both the traveling public and the agencies responsible for maintaining roadways. The Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, supports pavement preservation through legislation, funding, and research, and has sought to get out the message on the benefits of this best practice through its Everyday Counts initiative. The benefits of pavement preservation include improved safety, Treatments are installed in shorter work zones during off-peak hours, reducing the potential for work zone safety incidents. Preservation also provides improved skid resistance. Improved performance. Successful construction has demonstrably improved pavement performance, resulting in smoother, safer roads and delay in the need for extensive costly rehabilitation. Increased flexibility. With a growing toolbox of available treatments, agencies have greater flexibility to find the right treatment on the right road at the right time for the right cost. Increased savings. Maintaining roadways in good repair at lower costs with fewer problems and improved performance results in overall cost savings for both the department and motorists. Reduced environmental impacts. Pavement preservation requires less milling, new materials, and fuel usage for transporting materials and waste to and from the job site. This results in fewer greenhouse gas emissions, less energy consumption, and fewer adverse environmental impacts. There are multiple pavement preservation treatments that can be applied. Treatment selection is based on pavement condition, pavement distress, type of road, road surface, weather, and traffic and truck volumes. NJDOT has adopted seven key pavement preservation treatments which essentially place a protective cover on an existing, structurally sound pavement. The first is Fog Seal. Fog Seal is a single application, typically light, of emulsified asphalt to an existing aged asphalt pavement surface. It is a low-cost maintenance treatment that seals minor cracks, reduces raveling, and renews weathered or oxidized asphalt surfaces. It extends pavement life and temporarily postpones the need for major maintenance or rehabilitation. It improves safety by enhancing the color contrast between the new road surface and road marking and results in a deep black surface color that we associate with new paving. NJDOT uses fog seal on road shoulders and may expand application to low volume roadways in the future. Slurry Seal Slurry Seal is a surface treatment that extends the life of asphalt pavements in good condition. Slurry seal is made quickly at the project site. Mixing and spreading are accomplished in one continuous operation to seal the pavement surface. It improves skid resistance, restricts moisture intrusion, protects the pavement structure from further oxidation and raveling, and restores a uniform black appearance that improves the contrast for striping and markings. The construction times are quick and the roadway can be reopened to travel within a few hours. Microsurfacing. Microsurfacing is used to extend the life of asphalt pavements in good condition but that start to show some signs of aging, minor cracking, oxidation, and other minor distresses. The treatment has good leveling capabilities to fill ruts and provide an improved riding surface. Microsurfacing is similar to slurry seal but hardens more quickly, permitting traffic within an hour or so in most cases. Chip Seal Chip seal is a surface treatment that combines one or more layers of asphalt binder with one or more layers of embedded aggregates or chips. Chip seals can be used on low volume and higher volume roadways. This technique seals minor cracks, protects the road surface from water infiltration and oxidation, and improves skid resistance. 
Chip seals are used as a surface that vehicles are driving on, or may be covered by another surface layer. The small stones used in chip seal provide a fairly even surface that causes some rolling tire noise and slight vibration from vehicle wheels at higher speeds. Cape Seal The cape seal process can be applied to pavements in fair to good condition. Chip sealing is first used to seal cracks and keep water from infiltrating into the pavement structure and then the second layer of slurry seal or microsurfacing provides an aesthetically pleasing, durable wearing surface. This combination treatment seals moderate cracks, protects the road surface from water infiltration, raveling and oxidation, and provides skid resistance. Micromilling Micromilling is removal of a thin layer of existing pavement surface. This process restores pavement uniformity and surface friction by addressing raveling, rutting, corrugations, shoving, and shoulder drop-off. Micromilling improves ride quality by removing small bumps, swells, sags, and depressions. Micromilling is used to correct grade and cross-slope issues. The micromilling process can be used to create a temporary driving surface, but is often used to create a surface or grade preparation that will bond effectively with thin overlay treatments. Ultra Thin Lift Hot Mix Asphalt or HMA Treatments Ultra Thin Lift Hot Mix Asphalt or HMA treatments are used to seal and level roadways which have low severity cracking, raveling, oxidation, and loss of friction, but are structurally sound and in good condition. NJDOT uses both High Performance Thin Overlay or HPTO and Ultra Thin Friction Coarse Treatments. Both are types of Ultra Thin HMA treatments. The surface cures quickly and allows the roadway to be opened for traffic in a short time. For road users, the surface is generally quieter and smoother than the surface resulting from other preservation treatments such as microsurfacing, slurry seal, and chip seals. The process tends to have a higher initial cost, but can extend pavement life by 8 to 10 years depending on the specific ultra-thin treatment. Although less than 5% of NJDOT's roadway network is comprised of jointed Portland cement concrete pavement, the concrete pavement preservation activities NJDOT routinely performs are partial depth repair, full depth repair panel replacement, slab stabilization, diamond grinding, joint crack cleaning and sealing. These preservation activities are essential to extending the life of concrete pavements. By successfully applying various pavement preservation treatments, NJDOT has been able to grow their pavement preservation program and see tangible benefits. We have seen a steady increase in the percentage of state highway in good and fair condition, and a decrease in the percentage of deficient roadway throughout the state. We've increased our preservation investment over the years to meet the percentage of good roads that we have to, and to keep those roads in good condition for a longer period of time um, and not allow some of those roads to slip into a state of disrepair where they require uh, more invasive strategies such as resurfacing, major rehabilitation or reconstruction. It's cost effective from a life cycle cost analysis standpoint, whereas you're spending smaller amounts early and often to keep that road in good structural health so that you're not spending large amounts to treat the more severe roadways. The double yellow center line in this picture divides two large municipalities. The two communities share the cost to rehabilitate the roadway from curb to curb at the same time. Six years later, the municipality on the right went ahead with a preventive maintenance surface treatment to slow down the rate of deterioration while its initial investment was still in relatively good condition. The municipality on the left did not employ preventive maintenance treatments at the same time. The difference in the two is substantial. It's just like your you know, house driveway. Your driveway is in a good condition, right? It's not broken up, but you still put that coating <laughs> every four years. <laughs> Why are you doing that? To extend the life of your driveway. Similar kind of approach we are doing it here. As we continue to implement our pavement preservation program, we are increasing the number of treatments and tools in our preservation toolbox. We continue to monitor these treatments and refine them and select the ones that are working the best in order to optimize our investments. Pavement preservation needs to be a part of an agency's overall program. Of course, you're gonna have roads that need to be reconstructed. You're gonna have roads that need to be resurfaced, but you also need to introduce preservation, which is taking care of those good roads. 
And when the public knows that you have a plan for all their roads, when you can tell them, this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, and these are the benefits that you're going to realize, they'll accept something that's a little bit different than what they're used to, especially if they're getting better conditions, safer conditions, and they're saving money. In addition to NJDOT's traditional resurfacing, rehabilitation, and reconstruction programs, the Pavement Preservation Program is a key element in maintaining a balanced mix of fixes to optimize pavement investments and performance. NJDOT is continuing to build this knowledge base in this area of innovation to deliver the best traveling experience for the public. New Jersey's LTAP program is jointly funded by the FHWA and NJDOT. New Jersey LTAP provides professional development opportunities that focus on pavement preservation. For more information on our training courses and what techniques might be right for your roadway, visit us at the link shown on the screen.